G'day, my name is John Steele from the University of New South Wales. It's another in my little series of videos on complex analysis. In this video, we're going to extend the previous video on Taylor series to the case of Laurent series. And this is Laurent's theorem. If you've got a function f that's analytic on a region of this shape, r1 less than z minus z0 less than r2, that's an annulus shape, then we can write f of z as a power series where the powers run from minus infinity, possibly, to plus infinity. So we're allowed negative powers. A Taylor series only had positive powers. And this series will converge on that same annulus. Now of these two numbers, r1 could be zero, so we could have what we call a punctured disk, a disk with just the middle, the point taken out, and r2 could be infinity. Uh, but r2 will have to be strictly bigger than r1, given what I've written here. And just like in the case of Taylor series, uh, you don't, there is a formula for the CN involving uh, various integrals, which I've not written down because we never use it, except in one case, which I'll explain in a later video. Uh, we manipulate known Taylor series and known McLaren series. For example, look at e to the 1 upon z. Now that's a function that's analytic everywhere except z equals 0. So that would be analytic on mod z strictly bigger than 0. And in order to write the series down, we just take the series, the known series for uh, McLaren series for exponential, and change the z into 1 upon z. So this would be uh, 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 upon 2 factorial z squared plus and so on, or in sigma, sigma n is, uh, we may also well write it 0 to infinity, 1 upon n factorial z to the n if mod z is bigger than zero or I could have just written that as mod z as z not equal to zero okay now again simple substitution will work but we can manipulate known series particularly the, the geometric series to get Laurent series for rational functions and that's what I'm going to look at in these other examples before I do that, I should point out that just like Taylor series, you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide if you're careful about zero, Laurent series, and you can differentiate and anti-differentiate them term by term. So if I wanted the power series for the derivative of e to the 1 upon z, what's that minus um, e to the 1 upon z on z squared, I just differentiate this thing term by term. So what do I get here? Uh, I want the power series for this in terms of in the region where mod z is bigger than 1. I can't just write down the geometric series here, I'll flip it over. I have to do a, a little algebra, but it's really just a variant of the same algebraic trick we saw in the Taylor series case, only rather than taking out a constant, so to speak, we take out uh, the z, we rewrite it as 1 upon z over 1 minus 1 minus 1 upon z, and then we can expand this in powers of 1 over z, as long as mod 1 on z is less than 1. But that, of course, is precisely what this region is. So we're going to get 1 upon z into 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 upon z squared if mod z bigger than 1, or in terms of sigmas if you want, the sum from n is 0 to infinity Z to, sorry, it's actually from 1 to infinity, z to the minus n if mod z is bigger than 1. Well, we can uh, modify these. We could have done the same. We could do the same thing for 1 over z minus 3. Uh, for, we looked at the Taylor series for that for 1 mod z is less than 3. We get 1 for mod z bigger than 3 by... Um, just a variant of this uh, trick here, but we could look at this one uh, to get us a power series in powers of z minus 1 valid for mod z minus 1 bigger than 2. Remember in the previous video we looked at the series for mod z minus 1 less than 2. So it's the same trick as before. We rewrite this thing here in terms of z minus 1, uh, and that's what that would look like. Now, I can't pull out the factor of 2, that would give me a Taylor series. I pull out the z minus 1. Into 1 over uh, 2 over z minus 1 minus 1. 
I want to expand in powers of 2 over z minus 1. That's actually the wrong way around from the, for the geometric series. I should have taken out a minus sign as well. We'll do that at this stage. That will be minus 1 over z minus 1 into 1 plus 2 over z minus 1 plus 2 over z minus 1 squared plus and so on. If this thing I'm taking powers of has modulus strictly less than 1. Right? And then we can rearrange this appropriately. We get, we'll take the minus sign out the front, the sum from n is, well, we'll write it in negative powers, 0 to minus infinity. We've got 2 to some power over z minus 1 to some other power. In fact, we don't want uh, 0 here, we actually want 1 again. So we'll have n here and in fact, it'll be one less than that for the power of two on the denominator. If you look, that's right. If mod z minus one is bigger than one, but bigger than two, sorry. So that's uh, how one would do Laurent series for rational functions. And similar to the ta Taylor series examples, if you've got something involving uh, more roots on the denominator, you use partial fractions to break it up and just, just do each bit separately. One last comment I should make, if I were asked for the Laurent series for 1 over 3 minus z in powers of z minus 3, I wouldn't need to do anything. It already is a power series in z minus 3. Similarly, this first one is already a power series in z minus 1. So if you don't need to... Um, do any work for these parts, you just don't.